What's going on guys? T-Mart here and I'm super excited to bring you guys another Black Ops 2 Tips and Tricks video and in this one I'm going to teach you guys exactly what you need to do step by step to find all the different plane parts, put them together, get to the roof, get on the plane and then fly to the Golden Gate Bridge where you can pack a punch and do a bunch of other stuff and just kind of explain the whole process to you guys because it is pretty complicated and, uh, and I just want to give you guys a comprehensive guide for those of you that want to learn how to do this. So uh, let's get started. Now uh, the first thing you're going to have to get is the Warden's Key which is relatively easy to get and I have a feeling a lot of you guys know how to get it. I actually put up a dedicated video about this earlier today so I'm not going to repeat myself but if you guys still don't know how to do it then I will link that video in the description as well as put an annotation on screen. But so anyway, once you have that Warden's Key, you have to run around and get the five different plane parts. Now I'm going to give you guys the order that I like to get them in because it just makes sense for me it, it kind of flows with the way that you progress through the map with opening doors and stuff and it's the best way that I've found so far so the first part you're gonna want to get is is located in the showers and the laundry room part of the showers down underneath the main cell block so to get down there as you can see this door is locked right now what you want to do is go into the afterlife mode and then go through this door right here next to the mp5 do a series of jumps power up the device on the wall and then once that's powered up now the door is gonna be open so you can go down the stairs to the showers or the meat locker or whatever you want to call this thing all the hanging dead bodies and you can run over to the laundry part and and you can unlock that gate or that fence with your warden's key now once you've done that you want to send yourself into the afterlife mode again and then you can power up the device in the wall that powers the washer once you do that come back to your body go to the washer hold X to turn it on and that's gonna create a cycle where it's gonna lock you in this room and send a bunch of zombies at you you know maybe 10 or 20 or so it's not that hard you can kind of just cut them around, kill them all, and once that's over, once the laundry cycle is done, there's going to be a part inside the washing machine, so that's your first part. Now, uh, moving on, the second part you want to get is located in the spiral staircase, like, elevator type room. I think a lot of you guys are going to know what I'm talking about, but if you don't know how to get there, from the previous shower slash laundry room, what you want to do is go through these tunnels until you reach this room right here. It's, uh, it's really hard to miss, and as you can see, there's this big green part sitting in the middle of the elevator. Now, the question is, how do you get to it? Well, if you go down the spiral staircase all the way to the bottom, there's a little lockbox down there. You open that up and it you know kind of reveals three transponders go back up to the top send yourself into the afterlife mode and when you walk down again every wall that you pass is gonna have a number on it and it's different each time that you play the map and uh, just memorize the three numbers enter them into the three transponders and once you do that the elevator is gonna lower and the part is gonna become accessible so to go pick up the part you go through this door here you go down a few stairs take a couple of turns and and voila now you're here you can open up the door and you can go and get your part now one kind of helpful little tip here is that once you get that elevator to go down you want to go pick up that part ASAP if you don't pick it up ASAP it's actually gonna reset and go back up to the top and you have to waste another afterlife so make sure you get that part right away Way, and uh, and then voila you've got two parts now I'm uh, moving on to the third part this is actually the easiest one to get in the game all you got to do is go outside to the docks once you're out there open up the first fence with your warden's key go into the afterlife shock the power thing on the wall and that's gonna open up the second fence go back to your normal body and you're gonna be able to go in and then boom you've already got three parts how easy was that now, uh, now this fourth part is uh, is kind of a doozy. I mean, because that third was so easy, they had to make one extra hard, and that's the fourth part. So the fourth part is actually located in the warden's office upstairs in the main cell block, but it comes in two parts. You have to shut off a kind of like security mechanism on it down by the dock. So uh, after you get part three. Go inside to the generator room of the docks. You're going to watch the gameplay on screen, how you get down there. And, and there's three little, like, electricity systems or whatever that you have to zap. And make sure you get all three. Make sure they turn off. Sometimes they don't turn off right away. And once you shut down all three, you want to go back upstairs to the main cell block and go into the warden's office area. Now, you can't initially get into the warden's office because it's locked. You've got to get the door open. So what you want to do is go into the afterlife mode, jump through the little fence thing, kind of like you were going to get the warden's key you know in the beginning of the map and and then instead of turning left 
turn right, go down the stairs, and there's going to be a transponder on the wall. Shock that thing, and it's going to open up the door to the warden's office. Once the warden's office door is open, walk in, and to your right in that room behind the cage is your engine part for your plane. So open that cage up with your warden's key, and you're going to be able to get the engine. Now, if you didn't get rid of the three kind of generator things down by the docks earlier, you wouldn't be able to access that jail cell because it would be electrified. So that's why you had to do the first part first and come to the warden's office second. Now, uh, finally, the last part that you want to get is right next to where you get access to the roof. So you always, always, always want to make sure you get this one last. So uh, what you want to do is you want to get up to the third story part of the, uh, the jail cell and, and the easiest way to get there is either going from the gondola, uh, from the docks all the way up to the third story, or go back through the main spawn room and go in through the library as you're watching I'm doing right now. And, and once you get up there, go to where Electric Cherry is, go behind Electric Cherry, follow that all the way to the wall, take a right, go through the doorway, follow my gameplay right here, I'm not going to explain every turn, and, and then voila, finally you find yourself in the room where in the corner, locked in a glass box, is the fifth and final part that you need to make your airplane. So open that box up with the warden's key, and boom, you've got five parts. Now, the best thing about this is, is now you have all five parts, you're ready to build a plane, and you're right next to the roof access. So when you're in the same room, send yourself into the afterlife mode, go over here to where there's a little marking in the door on the wall, go to the right, jump up and hurdle on to the very top part of the roof boom you're up here now when you're up here you want to go over to the roof access door panel over here shock the transponder on the wall it's going to open the door up go down those stairs revive yourself come back up the stairs and bam you're on the roof so again you know that's perfect that the fifth part and the roof access are right next to each other now uh, once you're up here go up to the little skids on the runway launch pad for the plane Hold X and you're going to build a plane, and then hold X again, and you're going to hop into the plane and start the little cutscene for uh, for flying away from Alcatraz. So I'll let you guys listen in right here. Here it is. Get this heap airborne! Unbelievable! Alright, so we've crash landed onto the uh, the Golden Gate Bridge here, and as you guys can see, there's a pack-a-punch machine. Yes, that is the point of, uh, of coming over to this bridge, and it costs 5,000 points. So don't be like me and come over here before you have 5,000 points, because I couldn't even pack-a-punch. But uh, don't stick around too long, because as you're going to see, enemies will quickly start spawning. There's going to be a bunch of wardens that are coming at you, you know, the boss zombies. There's going to be a bunch of regular zombies, and it just gets really, really bad really quick. It's just there's, there's not a lot of kite routes that you can run here. It's really, really like random stuff planted all over the place. It's hard to be kind of smooth with your movements and stay out of the zombies. And, and I actually ended up dying. But anyway, if you send yourself over here and you end up killing the zombies and stuff, how you get back to the main Alcatraz prison is, is these electric chairs right here that we saw in kind of the last screenshot just before I died. If you go up to those things and hop in the electric chair, it's going to send you back to the prison on the main island, and you're going to be good to go. So, uh, anyway, there you go, guys. That is how you build a plane and get off the island. I hope this was kind of the best tutorial that's on YouTube. Honestly, I hope I did really well with this. I hope I made it clear, and I hope I helped you guys out. So, uh, if I did help you out, if you enjoyed, make sure you hit that like button. This video took a lot of work to put together, and, and thank you guys so much for watching. Catch you guys later. Peace.